Welcome to Home Farm. Today we're going to be building our compost heap. We're building our compost heap next to the veg patch. The veg patch is still under construction. It's presently on hold because of the coronavirus. We are having problems with suppliers uh, delivering soil to us. So while we wait, we've decided to uh, build the compost heap on the side. Uh, the compost heap is going to be a mixture of materials. So for the side bits, we are going to be using upcycled pallets, uh, which are going to go on either end. Uh, we've started our little compost heap on the side here. Uh, that's all going to get transferred uh, to the actual main area when it's done. Uh, our area is about three and a half meters and it's going to be about a meter high. To this point, we've got the first pallet in on the side, which is going to act as the first wall. We're going to use some wood that we have left to make it pretty from the side. So we're going to build almost like a panel wall. Uh, on the outside so when you come down and, and actually look at it, it actually looks presentable the inside of it is going to be done with chicken wire and the paling fencing at the back is going to get boarded over uh, so that we can create a really nice area for the actual compost to be housed and that's so that you won't be able to see it when you're on the other side working in the veg patch the next step for us now is to put up that pallet there which is going to basically make the other end of the wall when that's all finished, I'm going to take the pickaxe and we're going to just turn over the turf that's here at the moment uh, so that we can expose some of the uh, nutrients and uh, some of the worms and stuff that's underneath. And then we'll start piling all of this compost that we've started here on top of that and creating our first uh, compost pile. The back wall has been put in. Uh, we've lined it with plastic and the reason we've done that is because we've used the tunnelized timber and the reason we've done that is because it is exposed from the other side and we want this wall to, to last a while. Uh, tunnelized timbers are actually treated with chemicals. I think they're compressed wood with chemicals. So you don't want that leaching into your compost. So we've used agricultural plastic liners uh, that should prevent any leaching from getting into our soil as the next step because we want to encourage uh, as much biodiversity and uh, worms into our compost heap. I'm just going to work the first patch with our pickaxe. I'm just going to remove the turf and invert it. Uh, and then I will take the start of our biomass, which we've been compiling this week. It's going to go uh, onto that uh, in layers of brown and green bio waste. Uh, about six or seven centimeters uh, for each layer. Our soil is very, very packed with earthworms. We're quite fortunate in that regard. They're absolutely everywhere that you look. Some big, some small. They are very, very active. So what I've now done is I've pulled back about a meter. I'll probably just do another half meter from there to give us about a meter and a half as a space. I'll be turned over. Then I'm going to go get some more bio waste that we have uh, from our raking exercises up in the top garden. Uh, introduce this, as I said earlier, and we have got another stockpile of uh, biomass that we can introduce here. So hopefully that will be a good starting point. We've also been a bit strategic today and that we are expecting some pretty heavy showers this afternoon. So that should give the compost heap a good soak and hopefully get it on its way. Hard work, but hopefully in the long term it is going to pay dividends. We are after all going to need quite a lot of compost for next year so that we can basically feed our eight rather large raised beds that we've built. So fingers crossed that this is all going to pan out for us. Last year when we moved into the house we had quite a lot of uh, offcuts, leaves, branches, etc., that we needed to process. So we came down to this portion of the field that is quite inaccessible and a bit of a nightmare to get to, so nobody ever comes down here. And we dumped a pile about half the size of what we can see there. And over the course of uh, the last 12 months, this is what it degenerated to. So that was without any effort whatsoever on our part. We just literally threw stuff down and let it decompose. Um, it actually has become really really fertile i think i'll come back here later and actually pull some of this out and 
just sift it through and get it into our raised beds because that is essentially compost that, that we made from completely organic stuff. It was just basically leaves and um, garden offcuts, vegetable uh, leftovers. As we can see, I've dropped our first uh, biomass container, which is basically just a, a black bin of leaves and mulch from the top garden. And uh, as a result, I've now had to pull up this one because you don't realize just how much space this stuff actually takes. So when we started out this project, obviously there was a lot of planning. And initially I thought that this compost heap would be big enough for us purely from what I would, what I imagined would convert into giving us compost for the raised beds. Uh, and I initially thought that there was no way that we were gonna actually easily going to fill this with any kind of biomass. But we do have uh, a two acre field. We've got uh, another garden up at the other end of the house. And it's just remarkable how much stuff you can collect. So now, as I've started this project, I'm beginning to think that uh, we're actually, this, is, this actually might be too small. So as we go along, obviously we'll play it by ear. That still has to get raised by one or two boards. So this compost heap will become bigger. And there's obviously the option of extending onto this side, which might be viable for us. Uh, I think that that is something that we'll have to consider and we'll just see how it goes. But I, knew, I do need to caveat this video by saying that we have never done anything like this before. Obviously I've gone online, I've gone onto forums, I've watched videos, I've read about a dozen books now on veg patches, composting and all the rest of it. And different things work for different people. So until you actually start something yourself, you're actually never gonna know how it's gonna turn out. So from my perspective, this is gonna be our starting point. I think the next couple of weeks are going to be telling because there is just so much stuff that we can collect. Obviously, just looking up this field, just, just how much hay there, is, there still is and uh, dead grass that we can pull down. Obviously, we mow a lot, so our cultured lawns up at uh, the top garden all contribute uh, the, the green stuff that you need to layer the compost heaps through. We are going to avoid putting sticks and twigs and branches in because we do want this to be a, a quick... Uh, decomposing compost heap so everything is soft uh, and we'll ensure that that happens but as I said you know this is a, a learning curve for us we you know some of you might be watching this video and thinking you know you guys have done this incorrectly or that incorrectly or that's okay that's fine from our perspective this is a learning curve we will see how it goes any comments are obviously always greatly appreciated because that is the only way you learn and I'm a firm believer in getting stuck in once you've done a bit of reading and you actually have familiarized yourself with, with what you want to achieve. That has to be the starting point, being semi-knowledgeable on a subject. But until you actually start and experience things for yourself and see how things work, uh, there isn't really gonna be that learning curve that you require. So we want to learn quickly. I think over the next 12 months, this compost heap is gonna be telling, as will our veg patch. So. Well, that's my break. I'm sweating, but it's been good. I'm gonna go and get a couple of um, wheelbarrows full of uh, other brown mulchy stuff to lay down at the bottom. And then we'll start layering that with green stuff as we go along. It's amazing how the small things can just excite you and motivate you even further. So I came back out to this heap just to get a little bit more brown stuff to just lay down at the bottom of our compost heap. And as I took the top couple of layers off, look what I discovered. All of this underneath here, which we dropped earlier this year, is all developing into beautiful, beautiful compost already. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. It's got a lot of insects and a lot of stuff running through it. So biodiversity at its finest, really. And when you just pull it through, there's just so much goodness in here already. So this has taken about, I'd say four months. We probably dumped all of this here, maybe December or January, it's now April. So the speed with which it's breaking down has just been so wonderful. I never expected to see this when I came out here. I just thought I'd be able to get an absolute ton of material, but look at that. It's just, there's earthworms everywhere. Activity aplenty. Can't wait to see this happening on our other heaps, so I'm just gonna cover this one. 
uh, nature take its toll and convert this into a wonderful compost pile for us too. So that's a wrap for this portion of the compost heap. We have got our compost in, uh, lay it as best we can for the time being. I will be putting on a layer of green when I get the opportunity to do that. That will probably consist of grass cuttings and we'll continue to deposit vegetable offcuts from the kitchen. We've also finished building the wall uh, on the side of the compost heap that makes it uh, look a little bit hidden. So basically when you come down the hill, which is the angle that I'm coming on to from, from here, you actually won't see through that wall and uh, it'll basically hide the heap behind that. And obviously as you work your way around, we've got a nice tidy fence uh, that actually houses the back of it. So nothing's gonna be falling through there. So generally speaking, this is our attempt at a compost heap. Uh, whether it works or not remains to be seen, but technically speaking, I think we should be okay. So that's that. Uh, if you want to continue receiving updates on our videos, please hit the subscribe button below. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Hopefully we'll see you on our next video. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. You can also follow us on Twitter or check out our website at myhomefarm.co.uk. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you have any suggestions for any other videos you would like to see, please leave a comment. We hope to see you on our next video.